Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice, and if you are new here, and today we are doing a disaster entire house clean with me. I have just let this house kind of go to the dogs, kind of literally. Um, my brother-in-law's in town, Christian's in town. Well, technically they are out of town. They took a little brother road trip to go to the Grand Canyon for a couple of days. So I am home alone with Mr. Bucky, and I've let this house get destroyed. If you saw my laundry room declutter organization video that went out recently, um, I just finished filming that and I just left all of the mess out. So I need to take care of this mess. I have messes upstairs. I have messes everywhere. So if you are ready for some serious cleaning motivation, entire house clean with me and seeing a bunch of new updates in the house because lots of things have changed recently, let's get started. All right guys, this is what we are starting with in the kitchen. I feel like this is like the absolute worst part of the entire house. I mentioned I just filmed that laundry declutter organization video and I just took everything that wasn't going to stay in that laundry room and left it on the kitchen counters and I needed to find a spot for everything to go. Also just most of the downstairs were just a bit sloppy. Blankets were all over the place, pillows were everywhere. And then upstairs was kind of the same deal. Bed wasn't made, tons of clothes that need to be folded and put away. We still have clothes that need to be like fully sorted and organized. We're not fully settled into the bedroom yet and then the bathroom needed a good tidy up and the closet too. So if you guys are ready to start cleaning, I think I'm gonna be starting first with stripping the sheets off of my bed so I can throw them into the washing machine and then I'm actually gonna go work downstairs. We also finally have a washer and a dryer. The day they got delivered and installed, I swear I did easily six, seven, eight, nine loads of laundry somewhere in there, and we are still catching up on laundry. We still find blankets that we've been meaning to wash for a couple of weeks or towels that are in a different closet that need to be washed. We are still catching up on all of the laundry and on top of all of our normal clothes. But how would you guys function if you didn't have a washer and dryer? I'm curious. Have any of you been in the same situation as us where you first move in and you don't have a washer and dryer right away? Were you guys washing things by hand the sink where you go into a laundromat. I feel so lucky to have a washer and dryer in my house. Like I think about people who live in like big cities like New York City and don't have one even in their building. And guys, if that is you, like shout out to you. You guys are the real MVPs struggling through the laundry game. But moving on to the living room. I find that the living room is a really easy place to get a quick win in while you're cleaning because most of the time it's just blankets and pillows and they're just big. And so when they're out of place, it looks really bad, but it's really fast to put them in place. So following up with a quick vacuum and that room is done and we're going to be moving on to wiping down and cleaning off the dining table. We've actually recently been struggling with this table a little bit. The one chair that is on the inside against the kitchen actually has a little bar that your feet can rest on that's broken off. And it's actually been kind of tricky to get it fixed. Even though Christian's been getting into woodworking a lot recently, we are currently almost done. Well, not really we, mostly Christian, but he is actually building an outdoor couch for us right now out in our garage. And so I thought like that'd be an easy fix, but the wood actually is splintered. So I don't know if we're gonna replace it or just try to fix it or live with it, but we will see if that dining table lives for for a long time or not. I think Christian wants to build our dining table next, but he wants to build like one for the formal front room we have. It was so funny, guys. We had trick-or-treaters last night. Well, trick-or-treaters, we had like four kids total. We had like very few kids coming to our house, which is completely fine. But one of the little girls walked up and our front room is that empty dining room. And she walked in and she goes, why is your house empty? <laughs> like didn't realize I would be getting roasted by a six-year-old on Halloween night. But what I was saying is Christian wants to build a table for that room first. So I think we might start with that and then maybe eventually change this table up. We both think a small little round table would be really cute in here, but we will see what we end up with. Also, in the meantime, I had emptied out the dead flowers from my vase, put in our fake ones that you guys have seen a million times, wiped it down and cleaned it up. And now we are in the kitchen, which is disaster zone, like ground zero for disaster zone. Most of this mess came from the laundry organization video. Like I mentioned, I just took everything out and left it here, knowing that I was gonna film this video. And guys, I regret it. I wish I just put things away as I went, but sometimes when I'm filming, it's just a lot easier to stack things in a big pile somewhere else to deal with at another time. I'm sure a lot of you can relate on that. I also had a ton of dishes in the sink that also needed to be done. I'm sure that's also extremely relatable for all of you. How many of you guys always have dishes piling up in your sink?
Christian and I have also been spending pretty freely and loosely since we have moved into this house. There are a lot of things that we've needed and Christian's been getting into the woodworking like I mentioned and also caring for our cars. So we've made a couple of investments, actually a lot of investments on stuff to fill up the garage basically. And I am torn. I love the idea of putting the little matching soap pumps or soap dispensers that we have in the master bathroom down here in the kitchen for our dish soap and hand soap. I feel like it would look so much nicer, but I am struggling so hard with spending like the $20 on that. I feel like it just needs to wait. It'll come at another time. Are you guys like that too? Like really loosely spending your money, but then you have a really hard time justifying a very small purchase that would probably be fine. That's where we're at right now is we're like talking about, okay, budgeting is going to be happening in like a couple of weeks. We need to get our like spending under control, get ready for Christmas time. Cause normally we are really strict with our finance. If you guys haven't seen, I have a video all about how we budget and how we save money. Cause Christian and I, I'd say we're relatively disciplined about not spending frivolously or at least planning how we're going to spend all of our money. And right now it's been a bit interesting that we're kind of not like we're not being irresponsible. We are paying our credit card bills. We are paying all of our bills. And we're still putting money in savings, but we definitely have been buying a lot more stuff than we typically do. But it's also weird because we're in a big house that we have a lot of rooms to fill and we still have rooms like our front room that has completely, completely empty of furniture. So let me know how you guys are with your spending, especially towards the holidays. Are you guys more like frivolously spending or are you very structured on a budget? Like you cannot stray from it. Let me know down below how you guys budget or if you guys even budget at all. Now, while I was blabbering on about budgeting, I was going around the entire kitchen and working on tiny little projects that have just been cluttering our counter, basically. So we have Bucky's bones, and I've been meaning to put that in a canister, so I finally made the time to do that. And then I also have this box of sugar cubes. Christian likes to do that with some mixed drinks sometimes, so we always like to have them on hand. And I hate having the sugar and like baking supplies in their original packaging, so I put that into a canister too, and then just moved around and cleaned up other little spaces. We have a little zone that's full of Bucky's treats and his jar of peanut butter and everything so I tidied that up. And then this pile by the door to the laundry room was stuff that needed to be moved out to either the laundry room or to the garage. So I was finally taking things out there one by one. And guys, the garage needs so much help. Oh, there's so many places in this house that I don't think you guys really ever see or can appreciate how I do not have it all together. I feel like a lot of the times these videos make it seem like I am perfectly organized. Every space in my home is perfect and clean and tidy and there's never dirt anywhere. But that is not the reality, guys. That is so far from the truth. The garage is a disaster. My hoarding room is a disaster. Our closet right now needs a lot of work under our bathroom sinks and cabinets. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm gonna have to do a whole nother bathroom organization video because when Christian moved back in, he had a ton of other stuff that I didn't even think about, so I need to completely rework that space. I've also realized that my channel has been very, very heavy on the home organization cleaning content. I mean, right now, we, you guys are watching a clean with me video. I also have a kitchen organization video and then something else, a fridge organization video. So I have a couple more of the organization videos pre-filmed and ready to go out for you guys, but I definitely want to transition back to having more of the vlogs. I've definitely taken a break from those because of the Bucky situation and his healing and just being weird and trying to settle into a home and a lot of the stuff I was doing every day or these organization projects, but now that we're a lot more settled into this space, I definitely will be bringing the vlogs back. And I think well, since this video is going up on November 1st, I think I'm going to officially do three videos a week through the rest of the year. Maybe this will become my new schedule. I just don't know if I have enough content to share with you guys three times a week, like forever. Because if I think about it, I feel like I can do one vlog a week, one clean with me a week, and then what's that third video going to be? I don't think I'm going to have endless organization opportunities. So let me know, do you guys care enough about my life to see more than one vlog a week? Do you guys even watch the vlogs? Do you guys want more cleaning content? Are you guys tired of the house updates? Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm also asking a ton of questions in this video. Please feel free to leave a super long comment on this video answering all of them. I really appreciate your feedback and what you guys share with me in your comments. I don't think you guys understand that I would read every single comment probably multiple times and I definitely adjust what I share with this channel and with you guys based on what you're saying in the comments. So if you want more military wife content, let me know. If you want more cleaning content, organization, if you want more videos on budgeting, on grocery shopping, cooking, organizing, our life, more videos on Bucky, let me know what you guys want to see because that's my biggest thing with not doing doing three videos a week indefinitely. I just don't think I have enough to share with you guys because I don't know if you guys care about my life enough to see that much content. So share with me down below your thoughts on that and know in advance that I greatly, greatly appreciate all of your feedback.
Last thing I'm cleaning up in the kitchen is the floors. I like to do this because I will wipe everything off of the counter, even crumbs. Like I don't catch crumbs in my hand. I am way too lazy and it kind of grosses me out. So I am more than happy to just dump them down onto the floor and vacuum them up in a little bit. So now the kitchen is all clean. I probably should have Swiffered this day, but honestly, it was just a long time. Good morning and welcome to day two of this clean with me. We are starting still downstairs. Yes, there's still more to do downstairs. We will get upstairs in a minute. But I have two more places to work on on this floor. The first is the half bath on the first floor. I finally installed a towel ring. I bought this from Amazon for like $5 and it is the best decision I ever made. So now when you're washing your hands right here, you can just go over to the towel ring and dry your hands right there. It also fills up this wall so I don't have to worry about putting artwork on this wall. Like I think that looks fine. I'll probably get a more exciting towel though. But if you remember the big dilemma and the reason we had to put this up was because there was a nice awkward towel rack, like full size towel rack in the half bath. So I'm going to finally take these brackets down. I took the actual like towel rod down yesterday, but now I'm gonna finish taking this off. I don't have spackle or paint yet, but the paint's coming today. Spackle will come in a day or two. So we will figure that out. And my vision for in here is we'll put some shelves, like maybe two shelves above the toilet right here, and then put a piece of art right here just to kind of fill the space up, not spend too much money on this space because Christian can just build the shelves pretty simply, I think. So let's clean this up and get day two rolling. Also, since we're gonna have to reinstall the towel bar before we move out, I taped it together with the painter's tape that was on the wall, it's like the brackets and the screws, that way we don't lose them and have to buy more of them. Also, some other fun home updates is I just got a nice package in from Ikea. We ordered the outdoor couch cushions for the couch cushions building from there, and then I also ordered some curtain rods and curtains to go in our family room, and I'm hoping Christian is willing to put them up today. That would be very, very exciting. I might vlog today, I haven't decided. We will see, but you guys will see our new curtains pretty soon. I really think they're gonna change the entire room and make it look so much nicer because currently we have like the vertical blinds and I absolutely hate them. I don't know why, I just don't like them. They make so much noise because we open up the windows because there's no AC in the house so they let in a breeze, but they rattle the blinds like crazy. So I think I'm gonna try to remove the blinds, put in some curtains, and then I think that'll make the room a lot classier too. It'll also fill up wall space and make the home feel more decorated and cozy. So keep your eyes peeled for that update coming out. I'm also so happy that this bar cart has found a nice little home in this nook. As you can see, it sticks out just a smidge against the wall, but honestly, it hasn't even bothered us in the slightest after we first moved it there. And I'm really enjoying decorating this. You can see I have just a pumpkin and a little sign up for Halloween, but I'm really looking forward to Christmas and decking this thing out. I don't know if I'm gonna leave our wine glasses there. I feel like I could find a spot for them in the actual kitchen and use that shelf for more decorations. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like the bar cart? What should I change about it? Moving on to the one piece of furniture we have in that front empty dining room, well, soon to be dining room. This used to be the entryway table in our apartment and we really like it. It matches the wood vinyl floors really, really well. And I don't know if we're gonna keep it in this room or what, but right now it lives in here and just has a couple little tchotchkes. I also had some Halloween candy out because this was filmed before Halloween happened. And you might have spotted the newest addition to this room. I went and picked up a fiddle leaf fig. I have wanted one of these for so long, but I knew it just did not make sense to have one in Virginia because I wasn't gonna be able to move with it. And they're a bit of a more pricey plant. I think this little baby guy at Lowe's was $25, which is kind of a lot for a plant. And I've actually moved it since it's been there. I decided that there was a better window for it to get strong indirect light most of the day up in my office so that's where it's currently living right now and then the last thing to do downstairs before we move upstairs is obviously bring up the giant pile of stuff that i had left by the foot of the stairs i'm sure i'm not the only one that does this if you have stairs in your house i'm sure you guys leave stuff at the foot of the stairs so you don't have to carry things up one by one as you find them to the top of the stairs but i'm gonna clean up the landing zone just shove a bunch of stuff in the linen closet so i don't have to look at it anymore and then go and make the bed i didn't show it but i did put the sheets on the night before so i could sleep on some fresh clean sheets it just was really late and dark and not worth it to film it for you guys
With the bed made, I moved on to some of the other smaller messes in the room, like cleaning off our nightstands. It always makes such a huge difference to have the nightstands completely cleared off, and I probably need to eventually go into these drawers and do some organization because they are hot messes in there. I need to do some serious work, but that'll be another day. Also, this dresser is a complete nightmare. Have you guys seen like the meme where it's like there's that one chair in your bedroom, or it's like quote unquote the chair? because it's just where you pile up all of the clothes that are like not dirty, but not clean, and so they don't need to be hung up and put away, but they just live out. That's what this dresser has turned into. Like if I'm running errands and I need to go put on a pair of jeans really fast, I will throw my leggings on this and then forget that I have them there and never fold them. So this space has just become a dumping ground. Do you guys have a space like this or do you have a system that stops this from happening? Because I wish I had a spot to like place the like semi-used pajamas. That's such a weird way to phrase it, but. What do you guys do? Do you fold them and put them away or do you like put it straight into the hamper once you've worn it once? Another project that's going in the back of my mind, guys, I have like 15 projects in the back of my mind at all times, but one of them is the bedroom, and I'm thinking that when I redo the bedroom, I'm gonna leave all of the furniture in there as is. Like, I'm gonna paint the nightstands and the dresser, but I'm gonna leave them there. But I think I might take off the attached mirror that goes with the dresser and hang up like a big circle mirror. I think that would make the room a little bit more modern, and I don't know, I really like this mirror being really big because we don't have the space for a full-length mirror right now in the bedroom, or at least I haven't figured out where one should go. So having this big mirror helps out a lot, but I think it might be a better look for the room if we go with just like a streamlined round mirror hanging on the wall. Also, bear with me while I struggle through this next like minute of the video. So you can tell that the bed had been pushed off the wall like maybe three, four inches and it was really bothering Christian and I. I don't know if it would bother you guys or not, but it like there was a plug behind the bed where our lamps are plugged into and we were struggling so hard to like make the bed go flush against the wall. We just liked the look of that more and hated it being like floating kind of. So I was trying to figure out how to get an extension cord to lay flat against the wall so I could shove the bed against it and I was struggling so so hard on this guys. I wish this room was bigger so I could have panned out more but you would see me climbing all over this bed trying different things. I realized once I plugged in the extension cord and dropped it to the floor that I forgot to flip the power switch to on so I was getting different hangers to try to make it work but you could see that we finally got it adjusted and then went pretty close against the wall. Next up is the closet, which is also a superficial cleaning thing. Like, I don't understand how this space looks so cluttered so easily because there's not that much stuff laying out. Like, it's just a couple of things. It took me five minutes to put things back where they belong and it looks so much better. Like, having the clean floor or having an empty dresser makes the space just instantly cleaner. Like, that's all it takes to make the space look great. Steps on the side. Next up, we're moving into the bathroom, which had clearly not been taken care of for a while, but it's also, once again, a very quick tidy up. And then I'm gonna go in and do a much deeper clean. I'm gonna clean all of the mirrors. I'm gonna clean the sinks, all the surfaces. And then, I don't know if, actually, I didn't vacuum in here. Oh, I guess we've cleaned the toilets. Go me, cleaning the toilets. That's like the worst chore ever. Let me know if you agree with me or if you think like dishes or the laundry is worse. Once I'm done wiping down all of the mirrors in the room, and there are a lot of mirrors in this room, although I really like it because it helps a lot of light bounce around, so this room is always really bright and nice, but I'm moving on to wiping down the counters and all of the sinks and all the nooks and crannies that are in this space. Also, if you guys spot that almost empty hand soap on the sink, it's been bugging me so much that I have to have that there, but I don't want to waste the last couple drops of this hand soap. It's actually the hand soap we had in Virginia in our bathroom, and I am still trying to go through it before I start using the new hand soap that I shared in the home decor video. Here's also the after shots of the bedroom. It looks so nice, pristine, and I think once the furniture is painted and I do something either with that back wall to be like an accent wall or put some pictures up and add curtains, I think this room is going to be absolutely beautiful and dreamy. And as usual, as I was cleaning a space, whenever something that didn't belong in that room was there, I just put it outside the door, also including all of our laundry and all of our towels. And of course, Bucky was there the entire time to help me move it all out of the way. Mm -hmm. 
the last room to tidy up is the office and I honestly have not been in this room very much. It kind of makes me sad because I love this space and it has the most light in the entire house, but I did get some new plants and I'm getting excited to start to use this room a bit more now that Bucky is mobile and not in the cone. It's easier for him to go upstairs and whatnot. So right now as I'm editing this video, I'm actually in this space right now. But you can see this little snake plant I picked up when I got the fiddle leaf fig and I'm just planting him in this cute little Ikea planter and I'm going to have him living on my desk being my little office plant buddy. I'm already working on building out my little office garden. If you remember in Virginia, I had like four or five different succulents stacked onto the desk and I loved having all of that fresh plant life and all of the greenery on the plant wall. And that's going to be it for this guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!